Welcome to another episode of What is Hashimoto's with Dr. Martin Rutherford. To find out more on any of our topics or for information on scheduling a consultation with Dr. Rutherford, please visit us at whatishashimoto's.com. And now, here's Dr. Rutherford. Hi, Dr. Rutherford here, and uh, we're beginning a new topic here uh, in, in our presentations that we've been putting on for the last seven or eight or nine years. Our, a new way of presenting data, we're going to start presenting a, one condition a month, and we're going to address that uh, condition uh, every day for that month. We're going to give you n nuances of, of that condition, the condition that we're going to start with in April is uh, that we're doing this April right now is uh, what is Hashimoto's and uh, Hashimoto's is, is going to be the subject this month then we might then another uh, month we might talk about fibromyalgia another month we might talk about chronic fatigue so we're gonna uh, there's so many aspects to these conditions that it's hard for me when somebody writes me and says, what's Hashimoto's? I can talk for, well, you can go look at our Hashimoto's No BS series, and, and that's over an hour long, and we had to cut that down. So, uh, so what is Hashimoto's? And we're going to hit a little nuance each and every day. So for those of you with Hashimoto's, this should be like uber uh, interesting and informative because I've been doing Hashimoto's for a long time. I studied with a doctor that actually kind of figured out Hashimoto's was what's causing most thyroid problems and I've been very blessed that way and if there's a question you got about it usually I can answer it so let's start answering that we'll start with what is Hashimoto's so I'm gonna keep this short because we're gonna talk about this for another 29 days <laughs> okay but Hashimoto's is very complex it is just so complex when we started out it was okay it's an immune attack against the thyroid okay and uh, that's clear enough. Your immune system starts attacking your thyroid and you get Hashimoto's. So technically, it's an autoimmune problem. They call it Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Itis means inflammation. Okay, so there's inflammation against the thyroid because the immune system is attacking it. And there's so many nuances. We're going to talk about why you've been told that your lab tests are normal. A lot of people know that now, but a lot of you still don't. I had I had. A nurse in here yesterday that that had uh, kind of was um, a, a little bit unaware of the fact that it's it's mind-numbingly misdiagnosed. It's frequently not looked for. Uh, the numbers are are, are are in different labs are different. There is silent Hashimoto's. There is reactive Hashimoto's. There is full full blown Hashimoto's. There there are nuances of it all over the place. There are herbs and botanicals for it. Uh, some people want to know, can I get off the medication? We'll answer that question. Uh, medications are, are uh, a big, big question that I get a lot. Uh, it's, it, Hashimoto's is related to so many other things. It's related to, it's related to um, autoimmune attacks against your cerebellum, where you get dizziness and vertigo and balance at the same time, and you're going like, what the heck do I have that for? And you don't realize that they're connected. It's related to gut problems, specifically related to uh, celiac. It's related to autoimmune gastritis. For those of you who have difficulty having a child, it's related to polycystic ovarian syndrome uh, and more. Uh, if, you have, uh, if you have rheumatoid arthritis, there's such and such a chance that you're going to have Hashimoto. So, so there's a, we're, we're gonna talk about those things. We're gonna talk about what is the actual attack for Hashimoto's and, and, and the fact that the, the, the initial attack should not be herbs and botanicals or drugs for that matter, okay? The initial should be, attack should be what is creating the inflammatory responses that are flaring up your immune system. For that, I could talk every day for a month <laughs> or maybe two or three months for that matter, but we'll try to keep it to one month. So, um, so that's what we're gonna do, Hashimoto's. It's an, it's an autoimmune attack against your thyroid. <clears throat> Most of you are told you have hypothyroid first some of you will actually have hyperthyroid symptoms. That's another thing we're going to talk about in one of the sections. But most of you are told you have hypothyroid first, and then when it's not responding well to the medications, then, then maybe, maybe your doctor will look and run the thyroid antibodies, which they don't normally run. That's another thing we'll talk about. Like There's like 10 markers you should run for your thyroid pa panel, and most doctors run between one and three. And then if those markers are 
are um, not good, they'll treat you for hypothyroid. If the, marcher, if the markers are all normal, they'll say, oh, well, you don't have anything, come back in six months. So, it's, so Hashimoto's is complex. Autoimmune attack against the thyroid, they, they call it Hashimoto's thyroiditis. It's an inflammatory autoimmune attack against the thyroid. It is primarily an autoimmune problem until there's too much damage to the thyroid, then it becomes an autoimmune hypothyroid problem. So that's really enough for today. I mean, it's just kind of like give you a, a little bit of, a, of an overview. And then, uh, and then starting the next uh, uh, segment tomorrow, then we will talk about uh, one of the specifics that we just got done uh, enumerating. All right, so see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us for another episode of What is Hashimoto's? To find out more on any of our topics or for information on scheduling a consultation with Dr. Rutherford, please visit us at whatishashimoto's.com.